And we're back. Yep, yeah, we're just back this time, no crazy other word, with another episode of Pokemon Liquid Crystal. Today, we're taking on the Fuchsia Gym. I know, right? It seemed like three episodes ago we faced the Celadon Gym, and then two episodes before that we faced the Saffron Gym, so that's, what, three episode, three gyms in six episodes. Not bad, not bad. Yo, champion making. Whoops. Yippee. Take a look, good look around you. The trainers all look like the leader, Janine. Which of them is the real Janine? <laughs> Give it up for the real controller. Um, okay, I'm guessing... Uh, I'm not sure if the Link and Zelda would have changed who it is in... Hey, let me pass. In the, the uh, this remake. But I believe it's supposed to be this person. But in traditional fashion. In traditional, uh, what is it? Would a Curiosity be someone that also battles all trainers? Regardless, we're going to battle all the trainers. Hey, bitch. I'm Janine. How do you know I was real? Let's battle. Bull crap. That is what you're doing. Picnic of Cindy. Speaking of crap, and I know that seems like a very odd tangent. Uh, by the way, I have Fluffles out in front because it has an Earthquake, which is good against the poison tabs. And in backup we have Gengar, which comes as she's psychic, so that's nice. But yeah, uh, I noticed that a lot of like North American people say that word in their video. Now here in Britain, like I don't know, actually I'm not even sure if that is the case, but it seems like that's just about as bad a word as several other words. But it's just like thrown away, like carefree style in North America, which I'm like, huh, okay. It's weird because you get some people that are like, oh, family-friendly content and stuff. Which, uh, I have nothing but appreciation of those people. Because they're so dedicated in keeping that being the case. You betcha, I'm Janine. Bull crap once again. But yeah, it's very strange. Because, like, they leave those words in and I'm like, wait, what? That's, that's a bad word, isn't it? Uh, but I think I found the opposite to that here. Uh, the word damn. Here, we just, like, uh damn idiot or something. I don't know, but it seems like over there maybe it means more. I might be misreading that completely, but I know in certain medium it's like, oh, things like use the word damn. It's like, what? That's just a word. Oh, and of course, Camper Barry uses a hyper potion. The first of several. I'm sure we'll see this episode. So yeah, I just thought that was weird. And an interesting point to point out that each country and culture has different words that they consider worse than other words. I don't know. I'm sure there are other better examples, but I cannot think of them at the moment. Uh, I've actually been up for ages. I've had a very bizarre sleeping pattern as of late, uh, in the sense that I've been going to bed really late, and therefore getting up really late, but that changed this morning. I went to bed at like 10pm, which is strange to consider that being early, but for me that's really early. Foo 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 foo. I'm Janine, a gym leader. No, I'm not. Gotcha, sucker. I don't like you, random female trainer. Lass Alice. Lass Alice, Lass Alice, Lass Alice. Say that a billion times first. But yeah, this morning I got up. At, actually, I'm going to switch out to... Let's use Piney. Uh, I got up... Well, I went to bed at 10pm, which is pretty early for me. Like, standard sleep time for me, I'd say is about midnight. Maybe, like, what, even 1am. It's strange how it gets to that point, but yeah. Uh, but I went to bed at 10pm, but I that, I went to bed early, I mean, that also meant I got up early. So I got up at like half... I got up about 4am, and I was like, what the hell? Like, what is this? Because lately, there have been some days where that's the time I've been going to sleep. I know, it's pretty terrible, but yeah. That's the task been going down. So I've been awake for a while, and actually, it's not bad. It means you actually like go out during the day, as opposed to you leave it until late in the afternoon, and then it's too late. And then all the good stuff's gone. I don't know. It's very strange. But yeah, I'm feeling alright. And of course, that means there's more time of the day to record videos. Because uh, if I leave it too late, I have to get it uploaded by the end of the previous day. Because, um, it's like this weird thing of YouTube. Apparently you can get around this, but I don't know how. Because I've only recently, like, been able to schedule my videos. But you can, you can't schedule them on the day that you upload them. For, I mean, for the day on that you have uploaded the video. It's just, I thought, well, why? 
Yeah, apparently you can like manipulate it, but I don't know how to do that. I suppose I could just look it up, but <laughs> I don't. So I also it's just a lot easier on me to get the things just up and done by that point in time. So it's kind of like ah, that's nice. That's what comes of having a schedule. Having a schedule is definitely helping with this channel in general, but it just means that you actually have like pressure to upload, which is actually good. It means that you don't just like completely skip out on making a video. Because if you don't, I mean, I can understand the way of not having a schedule, but you can just kind of be like, oh, I don't feel like it today, which, yeah, that's fine as well. But if you're someone that wants to just make a load of videos and you actually want like some sort of like, organization to your channel, it's best to have a schedule, no doubt. So yeah. Also, um, oh, that was another point I was supposed to say, but I cannot remember. <laughs> it's one of those things. Oh well. I guess I'll remember it some other time. But meanwhile, Fluffles is actually doing fairly well. I don't know why I insist on using hidden power though. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's also something I was going to say. Uh, when I upload them, I usually don't like add the thumbnails and stuff straight away. Because my internet's very sketchy when it comes to me wanting to upload videos, so I just kind of ignore it. Uh, let's use Ganj. Uh, so I usually upload them later. But sometimes I like leave that too late. I still need, I need to just do that as soon as I upload it, I think. I think that's how I should do it, but I do not. So I have to like make the thumbnails. It's mostly just changing the numbers and maybe adding a new background screenshot. Which is not that hard, but still, when you're like waiting there for ages for things to upload, it's just kind of like, oh, come on. Ah, oh, yeah, you paralyzed it. So yeah, that is very, very small insight, I suppose, into what goes into making YouTube videos. I don't know, it's very strange. I looked back on videos I made, uh, well, this morning. I mean, I had so many. F I had so much free time this morning because I got up at four. I was like, what, what's going on? So I went back and looked at like videos I'd made. Even in October, I was kind of like, wow. I really like my mic was bad. I mean, I knew it was bad. It's kind of like, oh wow, really. And just I don't know. It seems like my enthusiasm and just the way I present myself has gone a lot better. And so the only way you can really improve your channel, guaranteed, is just by keeping at it. You like develop things that will make things better. So it's all good. It all works out in the end, or at least I assume so. I'm getting like a better subscription rate than I have been previously, so that's always nice. I've not been someone that goes out and like, oh, I, I need such and such subscribers. Because it's not, I, I say this, like the old cliche thing, which I said before, but it's like, it's not really about that. Like, I mean, more subscribers obviously is nice. But it's just about making the videos, and some days I just don't even think about anything else other than making these videos, putting them up, and then people that watch them, and kudos to you, fame, by the way, and thank you very much for watching this series and any others you might also be having to watch. It's kind of like, oh yeah, that's cool. I'll just upload it for those people, regardless of how small the people are. Uh, and wow, we got our first level 60, people, yeah, I've been pretty much talking over all of these battles, but, you know... After 60, wait, this is part 68. After 68 parts, sometimes you just don't want to talk about the battles because there's been so many of those. What I can say is that sprite is very strange. Uh, it's gonna heal, isn't it? It's like it has an out. It has too much of an outline, is what that sprite seems to have. But of course, Venusaur is awesome because it's evolved from the best starter of all time in Bulbasaur. And that is a fact, that's not my opinion. <laughs> Why would it not? <laughs> it's the first Pokemon, so naturally that means it's perfect. That is my base for that. Last Linda. Oh, I lost your not weak. That I'm sure that's supposed to be like... Split up into two sentences, but meh. Anyway, well, the method of deduction has just resulted in this having to be Janine. I thought it might have been. So here we go. Uh, I still have... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna quickly heal. Heal! So I'm gonna put a Hyper Potion. Now, I do know she has at least... I think she has a Crobat, which is Flying type, but I have Blizzard for that. But I know she also has uh, Bug Poison types. I'm just gonna work around that. Foo 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 foo! I don't understand. I think that's like a Japanese way of laughing. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm only joking. I'm the I'm the real deal. J 
Jenny, no future Jim. That's -a me. <laughs> of course. It's -a me, Janine. Oh, rare. Right. I must say also, uh, this music, whoever did this, did a really good job at replicating the original. It's quite nice. But it only took me until recently uh, to realize that this is a remix of the original Gym Leader theme from Red, Blue, Yellow. Like, and I'd played Gold Silver Crystal for ages. Somehow, like, it makes sense, obviously, because it's the Gym Leader Bell. But I just never clicked that it was a remix until I. F I don't know. I think it was in the uh, black and white remixes. Black and white 2, uh, the World Tournament remixes. It's kind of like, wait, it's the same. It's a remix. How did I not notice this? It's very strange. But there you go. It's embarrassing long on time. It's like one of those things that's like, oh, I didn't realize that until now, but it's so obvious. Like, uh, Cradley's eyes are not actually the giant things on its head. Like the white things. It's like a black middle part in its head where it has its eyes. It's kind of like, whoa! My mind just got blown by that. That was ridiculous. Anyway, we're destroying Janine so far. We've done three attacks and we've destroyed three other Pokemon. Weezing! And also, of course, Earthquake cannot hit a levitating Weezing. But it can be hit by a Psychic. So it's going down! Nice. I don't know what our last Pokemon is. I think it might be another Weezing. Poi was level 61, man. You are just the man of the... Yeah, it is. You're just the man of this playthrough of the game. But this Weezing just get another Psychic. And unless it somehow survives. Five moves, five Pokemon defeated. I think that's about as easy as it gets. You're a tough one. You definitely won. Here's Soul Badge. Thank you very much. It's impressive also. You're someone else that manages to get their cape flowing inside a building where there cannot possibly be any wind of any kind. Unless you have like fans in the side of your building and I can't see them. You're so tough. I have a special gift. It's toxic. Excellent. Okay. That's actually what I wanted. Because now... I can put this baby on Fortress, assuming it can learn it. Yes, everything can learn it. And I was thought about it, I'm going to get rid of Curse, because it didn't seem to help, like, any of my moves. I know Headbutt is kind of like, eh, it's still, like, nice just to get an attack in. I don't know. But we'll get rid of Curse, because we don't need it. And now Piney has Toxic. Yes. So that's going to be useful, I assume. It's like the... It's what a Fortress pretty much uses most of the time, other than like Stealth Rock and Rapid Spin. Like, why would you not give it Toxic? It's more metagamey. At least that's what it was when I last checked. I could be completely wrong now, of course. So yeah, that was really, really easy. And that was the 12th badge. So I guess... Uh, South is blocked off, I seem to remember him saying, but let's go check it out, because it's probably a pretty short episode. Cinnabar's volcano erupted. It hurled boulders that cut off Route 19 indefinitely. One of the people of Cinnabar are safe. It's pretty miraculous if, like, everyone somehow survived. But of course, this is a game. Hello. Who knows how long it could take to move this boulder? Which one? That one? That's not in your way. You're not even working on it. You're just walking around. Sorry, this road is closed for construction. If you want to get to Cinnabar, you best go south from Pantown. Well, we are not going there yet, random fat man. We're going east. We're going to travel... You know, I'll open the town map, because I barely use this thing. That's oh, the map card. So, our plan... We, of course, came from Celadon. We came down here. And we're going to go east through this really, really long pathway. Uh, I might take a detour here. Actually, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to keep heading up to Lavender Town. Uh, I will tackle here later, and you'll see why. So, route 15, and 14, and 13, and 12. That's four routes. Probably will be split up to at least two parts, I would have thought. I don't want to run, like, overtime at all. Not that that's possible, because I don't have a time deadline, but meh. I don't want them being too long. But anyway, that was really easy. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Toodles. Right, you build another archer. <laughs> because why not? Oh, we have our warrior here. I'd forgotten about him. Yeah!
Yeah! The club is mightier than the sword.